Hello everyone. In this example, we have an infinite rod and uh, we want to calculate the electric field at a certain distance r from the rod. So how do we exactly do this? It is my pleasure to introduce to you a very remarkable way of solving this problem. We are required to calculate the electric field generated by a positively charged rod a certain distance r. Now we are going to employ Gauss law. Now what is Gauss law? Gauss law basically states that the flux through any surface S is equal to the charge enclosed by that surface divided by epsilon naught. Now bear with me that epsilon naught represents the permittivity of free space. So we will use this in order to calculate the electric field generated by this charge rod a certain distance r from the rod. So what are the exact steps that we need to follow in order for us to be able to accomplish this tax? The very first step that you need to do is identify the symmetry of the problem. This is a charge rod. Looking at the problem carefully, we see that um, this rod can be enclosed by an imaginary cylinder. Of radius R. So this exhibits what we call cylindrical symmetry. Now, the very second step that we will have to use is to determine our Gaussian surface. Now, um, I can divide this up into three groups. This is S1, this is S2, and this is S3. We can as well realize that the field acting on any surface is perpendicular to that surface. Keep that in mind. The electric field on any surface at any point is always perpendicular to that surface at that given point. So if we choose an element here, this will represent the A2, the electric field, it's kind of outwards. This is E2. This is right angles. Similarly, this is E3. This is the A3. And uh, we have here, this is E1. And we have here the A1. So we need to calculate the electric flux through S1, S2, and the S3. So we know that the total electric flux E will be equal to the electric flux through surface 1. This is E1 multiplied by the A1 plus the electric flux through surface 2. This is E2 multiplied by A2 plus the electric flux through surface 3. This is E3 multiplied by A3. So this, we know that the field here is parallel to the surface, so the electric flux through this particular surface will be zero. So this is zero plus, this is E2 multiplied by A2 plus zero. So this essentially means that the electric flux through the surface is equal to E 
multiply multiply by the area of this surface and this is a cylinder so the area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r l and all of these should be equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught now this is an interesting problem we know that lambda, which is the linear charge density, is equal to Q divided by L. This is the charge enclosed. This means that the charge enclosed is equal to lambda multiplied by L. Hence, we can therefore see that E bracket 2 pi RL will be equal to lambda L divided by epsilon naught Therefore, we can simplify this, takes care of this, and the electric field E will be equal to lambda divided by 2 pi r epsilon naught. So this is the electric field at distance r. So if we now draw the graph of E, against R. The graph will look like that. Thank you very much. I hope this helps you understand or I hope this demonstrates how to calculate the electric field generated by an infinitely, an infinitely long rod um, with a uniform charge density. Uh, if you have any questions, please subscribe and ask below. Um, I will be able to help you digest and understand these concepts. Thank you and remain blessed.